All right, today we're going to go through a compilation of pictures that I've gathered over the years from the kids, some of the crazy and fun stuff that they do, and a little bit of commentary to help you get to know our family. This first one is our oldest daughter. She was pretty young, and um, I'm going to let you guess. I saw this picture, and I thought... <laughs> What a, what a, at first you just think it's a bow stuck to their bottom, which in and of itself is cute. But when you realize what's inside the diaper, you'll get a whole new level of understanding why I think this picture is funny and what present actually exists. Um, this is one where the kids would just read together. And I just thought to myself, I'm putting this on there because I thought if one of those pins were to, <laughs> if one of those pins were to give, uh, it's, Terrible of me to laugh at it, but just some of the dangerous stuff we let the kids do. But I'm a helicopter parent, so that was fun to watch. And it was really cute that they liked to pretend they were reading. Uh, this one I just thought was gross enough I'd throw it in there. He, You can't choke on those cookies, even though you think that he might be choking or could lead to choking. They turn to mush as soon as they come in contact with any moisture. So um, just a gross picture. Um this is a good one. My daughter would really go to town on watermelon. And what you don't see here are all the pieces that she ate before. It was like she had hollow legs and could just pack it back. So this was a this was a real picture that I thought she she might want to see as she gets older, but she has always loved watermelon. Just given her. Um this one we were out camping and I just thought it was adorable. My son you know, you'd almost think he went for a little bit of a hike from the tent over to this water source, maybe 15 feet, and he's parched. He's ready for he's ready for some water. There are a ton of sleeping pictures on here because I had a buddy tell me once, he's like, dude, I always take pictures of my kids. They're so cute when they sleep. And I thought, oh, that's funny because my kids sleep everywhere. They just crash wherever they are. So... The majority of pictures here are related to kids sleeping and just weird pictures. My daughter refused to go to bed, and she always wanted to know what was going on in the hallway, so she just would fall asleep there. At one point, what we don't have pictures of is when she would have, she'd fall asleep on the door, and the door opened inwards, and so we could never really open the door because she fell asleep right there. So my wife was really worried about it. And one time I just decided I put some cardboard there with some of it sticking through the door. So when she did fall asleep, I could push the cardboard and she would slide out of the way so we could open the door. So a uh, little bit of a life hack for you parents. This was my son's first attempt at shaving. And this is what happens when you do not teach your kids how to shave. Must have left a razor somewhere. And he... he he gave it a shot, and um, we don't have a picture of what's underneath the Band-Aid. It wasn't horrible, but he definitely had to wear Band-Aids for a while. So this is a picture we show our friends and family, and it's cute and great background. But what they don't see is the one right after it, or maybe before it, but they would not stop fighting. Um, so fun, fun fact. This is what happens when you let your kids get a hold of your camera and they decide to take all kinds of pictures. I have way more pictures than this, but I really like this one because it reminds me of the Austin Powers where he's got his pinky and uh, she'd never seen Austin Powers, but very cute. Um, she didn't fall asleep here, but I cannot imagine there's a latch on the underside of the table that lets you open the table up and split it apart and put a leaf in and i have no idea how her pants got hooked on that latch somehow but we like we left her there for a little while so that she could learn her lesson and i don't even know what the lesson is and i don't understand even if i'd have tried to put her pants in that latch i couldn't have done it uh this one i can't remember why i put it on here it's just a cute baby sleeping this is my son he just fell asleep but he's got a really good arch on his back and his foot is twisted around so this one's fun because at one point in my life i gained a bit of weight here and i thought that i i didn't want to go buy a halloween costume so i had this one it was like a kid's costume i don't know how i got my hands on the superman costume but i couldn't it didn't fit, and even if I'd have stretched it out, it just wasn't flattering. 
And so I decided to let the legs hang out. And it turned out to be a really funny idea because it looked like it was floating. So if you're ever too large to fit into a Superman costume and you don't want to wear the tights, you could always let them hang out and then make it look like, heck, you could even stuff those legs with something. So another good Halloween hack for those who are interested. Uh, just very cute. We didn't let our kids have any any sugar no we let them have a little bit of sugar but ice cream until they were one year old they had to hold off on ice cream and cake we wouldn't give them any and so we decided that um i can't remember she's got to be under one in this picture she somehow got her hands on an ice cream cone and was completely thrilled with the sugar that was inside it uh, this is the same daughter at a Halloween costume, and at one point the patch was over one eye, and somehow it ended up over her whole face. <laughs> so we thought that was funny, but she was walking around, she loved it, and somehow she was still able to see. So this is a buddy of mine, we were down at, I think it was Lake Blaine in the U.S., and we we thought it was possible, I mean, we're not, we're not physics people, we're, we're not scientists, we don't understand water displacement, but for some reason we thought we might be able to do it. We might be able to walk around with these buckets attached to our feet. And for sure, it doesn't work. Uh, I still wonder how big a surface area you'd need on your foot and how fast you'd have to run to just stay on top of the water. But I don't think I'm the fast. I don't think I'm fast enough to try it. Uh, same daughter, just piranha teeth in the tub. <laughs> Just going to town. She's a princess. Um, another sleeping picture. McKaylin did not like going to bed, so she'd always do something and eventually fall asleep. This is Bailey in her sweet outfit. So she thought that was super cool. Uh, it's one of my nephews inspecting my other nephew's face. And the one nephew, I got to give him props because he is a patient kid and just let him do it. So that was cutish. It reminded me of that uh, Captain Hook where the little kid grabs uh, Robin Williams' face and he's twisting it all around and trying to see if he was still that kid. This is every once in a while I take these funny pictures just with my phone. I go incognito, just snap a shot. I really like this one because I don't understand why those dudes, I should have taken a picture to the, to the side of the guy in the white jacket because if I remember correctly... There was a ton of space that was just open between on the rest of the bench. And he, he chose to sit right next to this other dude who was very uncomfortable with it. But I just had to take this shot because I couldn't explain it. Wow. Uh, this is my daughter learning how to shoot a bow and arrow. And the best part is that must be her third shot. You can see where those other two shots are. We had one shot here. Another shot there. Then a face shot. Like, they don't mess around, and is she's a natural. A, is that a pig? Yeah, we had them draw pictures, and then they had to shoot at those pictures because that was their target. Mm. So the funny thing, you got to look at these pictures in succession here. So there's three pictures my wife had the kids put together for me. And these pictures were to be part of a Father's Day card. And the first one was, I love you. So you can see here, this one is I... This one is love, but that one looks more like a gun. And so when I got the card, I thought, hey, it's great. Happy Father's Day. But I didn't see I love you. I saw I love guns, but both are really applicable to me. So I mean, you, you just put that thumb down easily. And that's pulling the trigger, buddy. So this one was great because a couple of my buddies, we were in scouts, and the objective was to show up and to build a trebuchet which is a catapult. And you were supposed to learn lashings and everything. We, we felt like we could do better. And so what we did is we, we spent some money and we put, I think it was 400 pounds of concrete what? in the bucket here. And then we had this really great release. There's nice leather strap here. And as soon as we rolled up to this scout camp, the leaders were like, yeah, you're disqualified. We, we didn't really care because... At the end of the day, people came to watch this trebuchet. And when we were launching milk jugs, we you can see all these frozen uh, jugs of milk. or we, we emptied them and then we put water in them and froze them. And we were launching these milk jugs probably 
I don't know, a couple hundred feet, and it was epic. So this is it as we pulled the latch. I wish I'd have had video of it. It was just really great. But you can see here it's starting to come around. The release, the first one went way too high. We didn't quite get the angle right. So you can see this milk jug was just launched, and, and, and it was going. Um, here's mid-swing. But the crazy thing about this, and this was completely not intentional, but when we launched this thing, those milk jugs, jugs would spiral like a football cap first. It was perfect. They were beautiful. And they just soared through the air. And this was our competition. So, so clearly, when it came to the trebuchet contest, the lashings, I wouldn't go to war with a lashed up trebuchet. I would pull out the cordless drills and concrete. So I, I think I like this picture here because my son, he's kind of got that Bruce Willis sort of <laughs> smirk look to him. And uh, he's got it going. That one picture, it reminded me, yeah, this one, it reminded me of this story that you told me. Benson, he was, like, so scared on a um, roller coaster. He was, like, going, oh, like, under the, um, yeah, like, seat belt. And then... That's true. Like, that was in Callaway Park, or, sorry, that was in Disneyland. And then you're like, Benson! Yeah, he was my son, the same kid... We went on that California screaming at Disneyland and we were going up and I didn't realize how afraid of heights he was. And he tried getting under the, um, the restraint and he was climbing out and I didn't know what to do. So I just grabbed his leg and I pinned him back down and I just turned to him and said, Benson, scream. And he screamed and eventually we got through it and he goes, dad, that really helped. And I th and I'm making this up as I go. And I said, you know what, Benson, when you scream, it tightens your stomach muscles and things stay put a little better and you don't get that butterfly effect in your stomach. So um, the next one we've got here is Bailey. This is over at a Callaway Park in Calgary. It's She looks drunk. I just put this one on here because she looks completely drugged at the wheel and shouldn't be driving. Uh, same daughter just likes worms. Same daughter was not happy to be at this um, Highland Games doing the... Um, the dance competition wasn't thrilled so this one i call snaggletooth this is benson and you can notice here if i can zoom in here where's my zoom so good old snaggletooth here this tooth is so loose and it sticks out kind of away from his face and I think it's for, I, I think it's hilarious. So this is the snaggle tooth shot of Benson losing a tooth. Now, these next pictures are Lego animation. So this one looks pretty fun. And we had the kids, we gave them the camera, let them put their Lego, and they were doing these sort of, uh, what do they call that? The still photography where you take a bunch of pictures and then put it together and it looks like they're, you know, Lego movie. So this was one... <laughs> But Barbie, you can see here, I just want to back and forth here. So they took one picture of the axe up and the other one felling on Barbie's head. And same thing here, just buries the axe and then like morbid, turns to look at the camera and own it. Um, I'm not sure why this one's in there. So this is a buddy of mine, and he showed my kids that you can take old man's beard, the moss, and it makes a really good mustache. And I think he looks great in a mustache. But my daughter, she, she looks better, and that was a cute picture. This is my other buddy. He lives down in the U.S., owns a sod farm. And we had to get him something for – he hosted us, and it was really good to hang out and catch up with him. So we – we got him for a, a gift. We got him a Twilight lunchbox, and I I personally think he liked it. He he's trying he's trying not to smile and he's trying not to show that it was what he wanted in his heart of hearts. But we knew, like, we knew just the way he held it. Um, cute pumpkin picture. So this one, I don't know what to say. Oh, so this is the best. So I'm. We don't normally keep a lot of our kids' pictures that they draw. You just get too much of it, but you also feel like a bad parent when you're throwing their stuff away and 
it's history for them. And at some point you think they're going to want to go back and look at it. So we take pictures of it and then we throw it in the garbage and say, Hey, you can have the pictures. We'll put them on a drive and you guys can have your photo album. This one has real sentimental value to me because what you don't understand is this is a picture of a deer and we were hunting and we had a deer hanging in our garage and my wife didn't want me to show the kids and I was like, well, they got to learn about this. They, they eat burgers. They got to know where the meat comes from. So we opened the garage door and we walked him through and we said, look, this is where your meat comes from and this is how we butcher it. And my one daughter, she was born on Halloween and she she cackled like a witch and she's always been kind of dark. And she stayed longer than the other kids and was fascinated. And then I went to tuck her in at bed and check up on her and she was drawing and I thought, oh, you're drawing, that's adorable. What are you drawing? And she showed me this picture and this is a picture of a, a deer that's hanging and that's the heart of the deer that's out. So, you know, I guess tip to parents maybe maybe like four or five years old is a bit young to have your kids in there or you know she seems normal now she's older now but I don't know how imprinted that deer was on her so this is our other daughter and the only reason I threw this picture in there is because you can't fake that like that's intentional and I don't understand that went up the nose I don't understand how you you can do that uh this was a cranbrook parade we just saw and every once in a while i'll just take a picture and i'm like you don't see that every day so this fits into that category uh this one my son we're doing family pictures just through this mushy thing i can't remember what it was it was like a ball but it's a good look for him so <laughs> my wife's brother-in-law like or cousin in -law. anyways we have a family relative who was taking pictures for our family and this is what i was expecting but he threw this one in there and i almost didn't catch it and he, he gave me a nice do and i threw it in here because it's it's a really good fit and i you, if you can't laugh at yourself you shouldn't be laughing at anybody so this is the epitome of bored my daughter we're at a lake she is clearly not excited and you know maybe this is you know, between this and the picture of her on that bumper car where she's driving, I'm starting to wonder, you know, if there was drugs involved and if there was, where was she keeping them and is she still on them or is this a habit that she's kicked? Um, so this one I threw on because we got a lot of pictures of kids climbing stuff and I am a helicopter parent, but every once in a while you just walk into a room and you see something and you think, I should have foreseen it, I should have known he would climbed it if we gave it to him. Um, so this is the same kid here who you can come in and watch, guys. This is the same uh, little boy. And I just took this picture because I think this is when he really got angry. He was shaking the crib to try and get his to get out. And it's just really convenient that his eyes are all red and here. He just looks mad. So um, I suppose this is what happens after they keep rage hulk shaking after too long another sleeping picture um sleeping here just random sleeping places sleeping everywhere fell asleep against the crib he'd only really drink blueberries so um sleeping in fact i think this is a uh, video if it is you gotta watch this video here like this is him he he would fall asleep and he he would eat while he was falling asleep because I don't think at that age they're faking it. He was genuinely really tired, and we, we didn't care, though, because he was a really picky eater. Harrison? So this is you, buddy. Are you tired? Are you sleeping? You, you would sleep eat. Remember when I um, was, like, reacting to the popcorn thing? Yeah, yeah. Popping popcorn? It's like a red... So this is the same one, uh, just walking around. I just love the old Sasquatch walk. Because you're walking. Wait, Pretty so cute. That necklace. Yeah, you do. It still fits you too. Yep. Um, picture down in the weights, looking. So this is my niece, and this is a kid's stroller, but they found oh, like I guess if it too. if it works, yeah. just give her. Oh, so tired. fits in a little kid's stroller. 
Oh, this one is one of my favorites. I laughed so hard at this. So when we first had kids, so this is Harrison. He's our fourth kid. When we first had kids, I had a buddy and he would hold his kid in his hand and he'd balance his kid. And I thought, man, you're such a bad parent. I can't believe you let your kid do that. By the fourth kid, you don't care. So not only was I doing it with this, but I was going one-handed. So watch this. This kid's got skills. Ready, Harrison? Show mommy the one leg. <laughs> Watch, watch, you're doing even better on the next one. Want to do it again? Ready? One leg. One leg. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like at this age, I want to like freak out. Yes, you did it. Yeah, so uh, pinch in the nose. This is probably good for the first series here. So I think I'm going to stop there. I'll put another one on there. We'll continue on with the pictures, but uh, hope you like it. Good commentary. Try and have fun. <laughs> keep keep the pictures of your kids, even even your funny ones. Put them in the folder, and then go back at some point and share them with the kids. Then you don't have to dig them out at some point. Uh, do a YouTube, post it on YouTube. Use it as like a family a family server that you can all access and 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 enjoy and relive those memories. So hope you like this one. Please subscribe, and we'll see you for um, part two of the series. So uh, Millhouse Kids TV.